Hey, what's going on, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? I just want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with my knife room. Um, I'm actually standing inside of my hallway right now. I'm at the door that leads into the room. I'm going to take you guys inside the room. A lot of things are going to be changing. A lot of things you guys have already seen before. But like I said, I'm just going to give you guys a quick look on what's going on in here and what I have plans for. So as we step inside the room, um, there's just a bureau here. I've got some Jack Wolf uh, knives here. Jack Wolf, well, we'll get to that. Just got a clock hanging on the wall. My mother-in-law bought that for me. Um last Christmas she thought it would uh start to dress the room up um just to get some stuff going in here this window here leads outside to the front of my house that's the front of my house right there so I like having that window there it lots of it lets a lot of light in um I put up a uh a tin case sign. Now, I all this stuff is subject to change. I'll explain it to you, what I have planned. Uh, but for right now, this is what I got going on. Uh, what else do we got? We got the good old mirror with the stickers on it. Um, this is my... Um, <clears throat> my... Um, work um my tool chest area here um my wife got that for me at harbor freight that wooden um everybody's got those boxes they're pretty i mean they're pretty cheap and they work pretty well um but i actually want to get another tool chest i like this tool chest so much on how it works how i got it working I actually want to get another one, but Trisha said no. Um, it probably wouldn't look so good in this room, uh, tool, two tool chests. So I got to work with what I got. And that closet right there is full. I've got totes in there, and they are full of knives. But we'll get to that. Um, the top of my tool chest here. Um, this is from, um, uh, Mo Maurice, Kirby Creek Outfitters. Um, he did, he just does awesome, awesome, uh, sculptures of wood and, um, just fantastic. That, that is like when you walk into my room, this is the first thing you see on top of my chest here. This is the focal point of my room. Knife Detector sent me a while back. He sent me a nice big patch. And I've got that uh, displayed. I like that patch. And on top of it sits my uh, work sharp uh, sharpening system. And I got the small work sharp um, field uh, sharpener. There. I've got, just got that displayed. That's just in case I just need it real quick. I just go right to it. Underneath there, um, it says Knife Nerd. Um, it's a little patch. And then we've got another uh, sculpture here from uh, Mo. And we've got um, Kentucky Knives sent me across, uh, Dwayne. This was sent to me uh, by... Um, Georgia Adventure, um, this, is, this is a toothpick holder, and it holds toothpicks, and there's the cap that, that, that goes on it, it's like this native um, little, um, little carving that he did, and I appreciate that very much. This is a piece of fat wood. And this fat wood smells so good. I forget where I got it. 
but it just, even till today, it just got one heck of a smell to it. I love fat wood. Love fat wood. Um, there's my, uh, mirror with my signs on, with my stickers on it for the time being. Now this mirror, this is where things start changing. This mirror is going to get moved. Let me back up a little bit so I can show you what's going on. That mirror there is going to get moved. And in that corner up there is going to be a TV. I'm going to put a TV in that corner there. So on Sundays, I can watch the football games. I could watch YouTube uh, stuff on that. The big screen instead of watching everything on uh, my phone or my little iPad. So I could get, it, it'll be a lot better if I had a TV hooked up in here. So the TV is going to be in a corner there. Mirror is going to get moved. I've just got another sign right above my doors there. Pocket knives, five cents. Another sign over here. These are all subject to change. They're just something for now. Headquarters for Keen Cutter. Love Keen Cutter knives. Quality pocket knives. Then we go ahead and back up. We've got the um, the uh, O-ring light there. Gotta have one of them. Here's my desk, ladies and gentlemen, where I do most of my whatever I do in here. There's my desk. See if I could get that in. Here's where I sit and just hang out and listen to the music on this guy right here. This is pretty cool. If you guys know what that is, that's a pretty cool little setup there. Um, this right here, it comes to you and it's a poster. It's like, it comes to you rolled up. Okay. I unrolled it. Went out, bought a frame, and stuck this poster in a frame. Now, this is the anatomy of a knife. The whole complete anatomy of a knife. It's super, super cool. I mean, it really breaks a knife down. Um, I mean... Everything you could imagine is on this. It says knives up top. And you could get this at uh, Navsco. You could get that right there if, you want, if you're interested in this poster. And like I said, the poster shows every knife shape, um, patterns, um, opening me mechanisms, maintenance, blade steels, um, with this, I'm trying to read everything, shows you fixed blades, balisongs, automatic knives out the fronts, what a clip point looks like, a tanto, drop point, straight back, bowie, sheep's foot, warncliffe, cleaver, every, you name it, you name it, is on this, um, is on that uh, poster. And I think it really looks good. Um, the frame was cheap. The frame was super cheap. And I just made that poster look like a, like a million bucks pretty much. You know what I mean? So that was cool. That's going to stay. Come over here. That's my Jack Wolf collection. Um, they're all my Jack Wolf knives, guys. Um, I think that they're the best modern slip joints that you can buy. Um, it, it, you know, um, they're just absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're really, really good, good knives. They're, they're good knives, and I enjoy them quite a bit.
I really, really enjoy them. Um, that's a nice collection. All these drawers here are all full with knives. I can just show you quickly. They're all full of knives, guys. I'm not going to go through every single drawer. But I can tell you that um, these drawers, uh, if I can open it with one hand, they are all completely full of knives. Now we get in the buck knives. There's all my buck knives here. I've got a ton of buck knives. Big, big buck knife uh, guy. Here's all my other knives here. Here's all my buck knives, my bigger bucks. Give you a shot in there. They're all my buck knives, guys. I, I know that. And like I said, if I pan back around over here, all under here is all knives. They're all knives. That drawer is all knives. That's all knives. That's all knives. Then I could take you around here, spin you back around, and go into the closet. I'm not going to open these up, guys. And you've got three cheap totes from uh, Walmart. One, two, three. Um, they're all full of knives. These are all completely uh, full of cutlery. Full of cutlery. Uh, let's see if I what we got going on in this drawer here. All full of cutlery. Nothing but cutlery. A uh, lot of knives going on, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start changing some things around. I just wanted to, I'll back back up out of this room. And um, <clears throat> that's some of the stuff I'm working on. Sneak peek. Um, but that's it. This is the uh, entrance to my room. So if you guys want to stop over. Um, chew the fat and hang out and talk some knives. Stop on over. Stop on in. Everybody's welcome here. But, um, that's about it, guys. That's what I have. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look, um, of what I got. Oh, I got this here. I got the, um, I got some straps hanging up here. I got my straps, easy access right there. So that's what I got there. And, uh, that's about it, guys. Um, that's my knife room for right now. I'll do a, a update when things start get moving and changing. And, um, I'm really hoping to get some stuff going in here. So, that's about it. You guys be good, be well, be safe. Drop me a comment. If all possible, be greatly appreciated. And um, I'll get back to you guys uh, ASAP. Take care, guys. Stay well now.